It's just trying to get things out of the way. When you get things out of the way, it makes it fresh, it makes it clear. You let go of all that baggage that's on your back. What's going on? This is Michael Barayan with Spitting Fire. Today is Monday. And as you guys know, every single Monday we come at you, we spit fire. Yeah, today we're gonna to talk about the five ways, the five ways to attack procrastination. How many times do people want to do something, they want to finish a task, they want to go to the gym, they want to go to school, they want to finish their homework, they want to get a task done, and what happens? They start to procrastinate. They start to chillax. They sit back on the couch and say, you know what, I'm going to do it in a little bit. I'm going to do it in a little bit. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it, you know, I'm going to do it. And they keep postponing that activity. And what they really are doing is carrying a big ass giant on the back of their backs, and they're literally walking around with all that weight for no reason. And today, we're gonna talk about how to eliminate and attack procrastination. It's a disease. Procrastination is a disease. We, it's, a, it's a serious problem. I mean, can we get to that later though? Let's just, I don't wanna, we can do the, we can do the podcast a little later, right? Oh, we, we, let's, do the, let's do the podcast later, no? All right, yeah, let's just, I'll just do it later. You see, that's what most people do, man. They try to push everything to the next day. And you know what's crazy? Sometimes, me and you get into that problem. We're like, hey, we'll do the podcast, we'll do the podcast. And today, we're doing it at three o'clock in the afternoon after all our meetings is done at three o'clock instead of doing it at seven, eight o'clock at night. It's just trying to get things out of the way. When you get things out of the way, it makes it fresh, it makes it clear. You let go of all that baggage that's on your back. So, one of the ways to attack procrastination, first, before we start attacking it, why do you think people procrastinate, in your opinion? Well, I think there's a few reasons. Yeah, what are some of the few reasons? I mean, laziness is number one. They just don't feel like it. They're too tired. Or so their emotions too... dictate their activity. Yeah, their emotions or their uh, levels of fatigue. You know, they say, oh, I'm too tired or, or I don't have the time. Sometimes people overestimate, uh, they under, they overestimate what they can do. No, they underestimate, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they overestimate what they can do in a day, but they underestimate what they can achieve in a year. Ooh. And so, uh, it took me five tries, but. That's all good. Um, so did I you, did you people, procrastinate when you tried I, to do that? I did. <laughs> I think people just, you know, their concept of time, a lot of times is out of whack. So they think they have time, but really time's running out. Yeah, and you know, time goes against people really quickly. I mean, how many people say, yeah, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the gym, and then six years later, they're fat slob. Still eating chunky monkey ice cream. Listen, look, I had a girl ask me not too long ago, right? She's like, what happens if, you know, if your woman turns fat? I said, listen, if she turns fat, I'm be very, very creative on letting her know that she's gotta go to the gym with me. <laughs> Cause there's no procrastination, man. You gotta go to the gym. Put like uh, donuts leading, like trailing. Trailing, the gym. yeah. That's what, that's what Planet Fitness does, you know? They're a great business, but they feed you pizza and bagels at the beginning of the month, so you start getting, you know, the calorie intake. So you start running it off during the month and they keep feeding you that bullshit, so you keep coming to the gym for $10 a month. Great strategy. But anyway, procrastination kills people. And we all know that. Right now, you, some of you guys are watching this video and you're like, oh, I'll finish it later procrastinating this video. And I want you to test yourself. Try to see if you can start a video from start to finish without any interruptions. Try to watch something from the beginning to end. So many people, so many people wanna start things, but they never wanna finish. They start a task, but they wanna slide through and wait well, to finish. Let me ask you a question then, Mr. Michael. Is there a difference between procrastination and priorities? Because sometimes, you know, you have to prioritize something because it doesn't make sense to do it now. It makes more sense to do it later. Well, that's prioritizing. What's the difference between important and urgent, right? You gotta know the difference between that. Urgent's gotta be done right now. Important is kind of important for your business, but important doesn't always mean it's urgent. So you take care of the urgent stuff first. For example, if somebody's passing out of my fucking office right now and they can't breathe, I'm not gonna take an important phone call. It's important but it's very urgent to take care of the person that's dying in my office, right? So take care of the urgent things first, okay? Then you wanna take care of the important stuff. But prioritization is huge. But what I'm talking about today about procrastination is people don't even wanna freaking, they start something but they don't finish. How many people start a diet but they don't finish? How many people start, for example, I'm doing I'm doing this you know teeth whitening program right now, it's working very well, right? And it's actually, he's, he's been procrastinating on his teeth, but how, listen, how many people says, do this, do this, do this, do that for 14 days straight? How many people miss a day or two? The doctor told me 90% of people miss it. I was gonna say 70 days. 90% actually miss one or two days. 
I've been so consistent and I call this being the consistent piston. I hate procrastinating. I hate letting things get to the end of the day or the end of the week or the end of the month or end of the, the list because I don't like that. So we're gonna give you guys five tips, five ways to attack procrastination. Number one is checklists. I love checklists. I have checklists everywhere. They tell me what I need to get done. So if I gotta, let's say because I need to fix my car and I need to go to, go, you know, go to the laundry, da, 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 or whatever I need to do that day. I make a checklist of that day. And then I go click, 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 And click. I tell you something that feels so the good. The sense of accomplishment. Well, that, but I, I, I don't know if you guys have iPhones or you have Androids, but if you have an iPhone, it might work for Android. Android, Android uh, fight. Android, Android versus notes, iPhone. Android I, versus iPhone. Yeah. Fight me, son. Zoo, 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 zoo. So if you go to the notes, okay. the notes section, you can put- Checklists, um, checklists, little bubbles. And then there's a little bubble right next to the item. Ooh, I love filling my bubble, click son. the bubble, then you know you've accomplished That's it. like having an orgasm. Almost every day I wake up, I write my little list. So I have call Dylan, call Maurice, pay medical bills, get back money from car, this, that, the other. And technically, yeah, where's my, I got an update. Where's my payments, huh? Bubble, Woo! Bubble, and it feels so good to get it done. It feels good to press that button, right? So, the checklists are number one. Number two is having targets. A lot of people procrastinate because they don't have a target in mind. If you have a target in mind, it's very hard for you to procrastinate. A bigger target, a motivating target, a why, a dream, an aspiration, a huge thing that moves you forward. It's gotta move you emotionally. It cannot just move you for like two minutes. Like for example, I had a huge goal at a young age to you know, retire my mom. That's a huge goal, but that wasn't my daily hot button. It was an awesome hot button, but there were other key factors of having choices versus you know, you know, eating fucking Subway versus eating fucking you know, a steak. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Subway today? That's fine. But the choice was yours. Back then, I didn't have that kind of choice. So you wanna have choices, right? So having targets that are nice and big and juicy are awesome, but sometimes having those smaller targets are key as well within those bigger targets on what you need to do. So for example, me and myself, I have yearly targets, I have monthly targets, I have weekly targets, I have daily targets, I even have hourly targets sometimes because I wanna get those things done. And those little things add up over time. The compound effect is huge. If you haven't read the book, The Compound Effect and The Slide Edge, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Tony, if you could put that up for people so they can see it, it's an amazing book. That Those two books are gonna change people's lives. And if you have a, a, a difficult time of procrastination, I'm gonna tell you the book at the end of this podcast on what book you need to read that's gonna really change your life, okay? Don't the read it yet. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't read it yet. <laughs> All right, number three, it's take care of the hard things first. Many people, you know what they wanna do? They wanna get rid of the easy stuff first. So they go through the tasks or the lists and they take the easy stuff first. No, 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 you don't wanna burn yourself out quickly. You wanna do the hardest, hardest, hardest thing. If you have a, an hour long project, and a two second project, take care of the hour long project, then take care of the two second project. When obviously, gym, obviously through prioritizing. Like when I go to the gym, I do the, I hate deadlifts. Yeah. I hate squats. I do that shit first. Yeah, I, do, I do the worst thing first, get it out of the way. So you go, and you feel really good. And when you feel really good, you can start doing the other stuff and the little stuff come out easier and easier and easier. Uh, the fourth thing is having small bite-sized steps within the steps. So can I ask you a question? Yes. How do you feed an elephant? One step at a time. Right? So, so you wanna eat one bite at a time, little by little, little steps, little steps, little steps, little steps, add up to a big step, we just talked about also. So having those little steps, those little mini, mini, mini sort of called targets on a daily basis are gonna change your life, okay? The last one, okay? The last one, <laughs> reward yourself, right? You wanna reward yourself. You gotta reward yourself, huh? The carrot. The carrot, yeah, yeah. Put a little carrot in the front. You gotta reward yourself. I believe when you say, okay, I'm gonna do this, this, and that, reward yourself. For example, if I go to the gym for four days in a week, I eat a cheat meal. It's a good little reward for himself, you know what I'm saying? If I go to the gym today, I'm gonna eat a protein shake that I love, like banana, honey, whatever, oats, all that bullshit. So you gotta reward yourself with whatever you're doing. Put out rewards. The more rewards, the more work you get done, the better it feels, because now you are training your brain like a dog to salivate when that juicy steak comes out. But you gotta do the activity first, okay? So. Five ways to eliminate and to attack procrastination. Number one is? Is checklist. checklist. Number two is? <laughs> targets, right? You gotta have targets. Number three, hit the hard stuff first. Number four, have itty bitty, mighty, mo steps. And number five, reward yourself. So what I recommend you guys do is read this book, okay? We are talking about the compound effect. We talk about also the slide edge. But the third book I recommend, highly recommend, it's called Eat That Frog. Great book, I forgot the author's name. Eat That Frog is an awesome book. Okay, it'll help you with procrastination. And I guarantee you, once you start, once you start to
to stop procrastinating, life will get so much more better for you because you're gonna eliminate all the bullshit excuses in your life. So as you guys know, every single Monday we spit fire. What I want you guys to do right now is go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. What I want you to also do is share with a friend. I don't ask for no compensation. All I ask for you is to share with another person because my mission in life is to impact millions of people and to get them closer to God. And that's my goal, that's my choice, that's my, that's my mission right now. And I wanna help you guys to inspire to be better. Be better than who you are today. Stop procrastinating, be great. And follow, if you guys can do me this all the favor, if you guys go to iTunes and add a review, I would humbly, humbly, humbly accept that. And I would appreciate it so much if you guys can add a review on our podcast. Listen, if you feel like it's a one star, put a one star. But obviously, if I get that five star, it'd be a freaking amazing. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Stop procrastinating. And by the way, don't procrastinate on the review.